G'day, Bergie here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new Zerik Flat Shad X and some of the rigging options that you have with this lure. Now, one thing that Zerik has done is when they've created this, they've made it a specialist lure in that you can retrofit it to suit the environment in which you're fishing. Now, as you know, particularly in the impoundments or fishing for bower up in the NT, sometimes they're in deep water, they could be in 30 or 40 feet, sometimes they can be in three feet. So you wanna have a lure that is versatile and that's why this one's been designed the way that it is. So the fisho can change it up to suit the conditions. Now, straight out of the pack, this one here, you've got your top hook up there, it comes with a treble on the tail. If you want, straight off the bat, you can add a small treble on the nose as well, which a lot of guys like to do. Um, it has about 35 ounces of weight on the inside. It has the patented slits in the side that it, so it crushes down really easily when you get a bite. Then of course, you've got your Kevlar jointed tail and a nice big paddle. This thing swims and rolls beautifully when you uh, retrieve it very, very slowly. Um, what actually happens is the gills will flare out like that and it just rolls beautifully and that tail just goes bang, 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 no matter what speed. So when the barrel are a bit slow, a bit shut down, rolling this guy nice and slow is absolutely deadly. Now, this is perfect if I want to be fishing in 35 feet of water because it's nice and heavy, but what if they're up on the flats? Very, very simple fix. All I do is I pull it straight out and that whole system comes out completely. I can just go to a normal jig head, this is only 5 8 and, and I can retrofit it, very, very simple. I just push it straight in, the eye comes straight out the top, just like the other jig head, and then I just place the hook straight through the hole that's already there. I think this is an 8-0 hook, and Bob's your uncle, that's in and ready to go. Now there is one thing that I would also recommend that you do with these lures, and that is to use a little dob of glue. Now, this is the glue that I use. Uh, I get it from Bunnings, it's just a Loctite super glue. And what I do is I just put two little dobs just under the eye, between the eye and the jig head itself, and it just holds it in place. The other good thing about that too, if there's not too much glue there, you can peel it off, pull the jig head out, and put the original one back in again. Now, I'm gonna put the original jig head back in, and you'll see how incredibly easy it is. So it just pops into place just like that. You line those two up, slide the hook in. Okay, that's back in again, just like that. Very, very quick. And what I'd suggest you do here as well is to glue them, is just to put a dob of glue just under the eyes. Now the reason you don't want to be running it down the side of the actual lead there is you really want those gills to be able to flare out as, you, as you're retrieving through the water. Those gills will pop out like that and it just gives it the most incredible rolling action. So they're the tips that I would uh, adopt if you're gonna buy this lure. I've caught that many barra on it. They've been catching barra in their trial phases now for months. They are absolutely deadly and they're changing uh, fishing for a lot of guys that chase barra mundi and on the flats for big flathead as well. So that's the Flat Chat X. Check it out in your local tackle store.